Hello, my name is Derek Slack, and I will be reading from my book called Orange. In the land of the rainbow, where every color would grow, the red apples and green grass and white supplied the snow. Every color was seen here, every color that was in sight, silver for all of the stars, the black that covered the night, the brown of the ground, the blue of the ocean tide, all the colors that we see, not one tried to hide. You could see their joy colored on each face because it was a beautiful and wonderful, happy, colorful place in the land of the rainbow where all the colors would be working together in peace and beauty and harmony. Everyone was happy. Everyone but orange. Blue was a boy whose real name was Lou. He helped supply the sky with its beautiful blue hue and the peacocks and blue jays that colored the zoo. His color was bold, bright, and true. There wasn't anything that Blue didn't think he could do. Coloring blue fairies and blueberries and two shoes that were new. Blue gave hue to the crayons that drew all the blue things that everyone knew. Blue has many words that rhyme with it too, but nothing rhymes with orange. Red had a red head and called himself Fred. He fed the color for the ketchup spread. He helped spread the red in strawberry patches and the red at the tip of some red tip red matches. Red liked to color cardinals and lobsters and wagons, even the fiery red breath of a fire breathing dragon. Roses are red, tomatoes and some peppers. He liked to step in red paint. He's known as the red stepper. He enjoyed being red from his feet to his head. There are so many words that can be said that rhyme with red but nothing rhymes with orange. Yellow is a fellow, so mellow and so nice. He tries to be encouraging, he gives the best advice. He plays a yellow cello he bought in Monticello, and when he plays it, the daffodils grow. He puts on such a great show, from his music all the yellow things flow and all the other colors know just how wonderful and mellow yellow can be. He's known throughout the world from sea to shining sea, from Indonesia, Iceland and Indiana, giving color to canaries, lemons and ripe bananas, corn, pencil, squash, sunflowers and sunshine. He's the reason there are lemon drops on the road he colored every yellow line. Next time you're at a yellow light or by a yellow warbler you stand, thank this fellow named Yellow who plays a yellow cello with his yellow band. Many words rhyme with yellow, but nothing rhymes with orange. Green's name was Maureen. Her father was Jean the Green King. Her mother was the queen and their large family painted quite the scene. The greens were everywhere, never seeming to finish, painting broccoli, avocado, lettuce, and spinach, alligators, artichoke, redwood, and evergreen trees, frogs on lily pads, olives, pickles, peas, emeralds, caterpillars, zucchini, celery, cucumbers, shamrocks, the Statue of Liberty, watermelons, turtles, Ivy praying mantis, octopus iguana, the algae in Atlantis, 
So many different things that can be seen that Maureen gets to turn green. But Maureen is also known for being very mean. Mean, mean, mean. Meaner than the other colors. Meaner than all of her sisters. Meaner than her brothers. She discovered in the dictionary, as she was coloring a lime, she searched and searched and found, orange has no rhyme. Nothing rhymes with orange, nothing rhymes with orange, she began to tease. You're so funny and so different, orange, you have the no rhyme disease. All the other colors laughed, and orange felt a little blue. She didn't want to be different. This just couldn't be true. Nothing rhymes with orange. Nothing rhymes with orange. All the colors would laugh, tease, and say. This made Orange so sad that she decided to run away. This made Orange sad and a little bit mad at her mom and dad. Why was she born if nothing rhymes with orange? She felt that she was the one and only. All her friends were now teasing. She was just so lonely. So she decided to run far, far, far away. She didn't realize that the pumpkins, apricots, and carrots would all fade to gray. She didn't know that the goldfish, sweet potato, and orange juice would all disappear because their colors been cut loose. The poppy flowers won't bloom, lava will not spew, fire will go cold. Orange is so blue. I'm so blue because I'm orange. I'm so blue because I'm orange. I'm so blue. No basketball goals, or orange vitamin C fruits. No Oreo birds, pumpkin pie, cute orange rain boots. No more tigers or orangutans. No more orange dusk in the skies. No more autumn leaves or orange moons or monarch butterflies. Nothing rhymes with orange, a fact that can't be changed. She felt so out of place at times, so weird, so ugly, so strange. She didn't want to smile anymore. She just kept to herself. She felt so all alone at times. She really needed some help. The next morning the world noticed, at the beginning of the day, that the sun refused to rise because Orange had run away. Without the harmony of all the hues, the rainbow wasn't the same. They felt bad for teasing Orange. Being mean should not be a game. They finally realized that words are powerful, even though it took some time. They now know that everyone is special, even the ones that have no rhyme. Because everyone has a special place, like blue and green and brown, and if you do not have something nice to say, you should not make a sound. Because words can really hurt someone, but they also have the power to heal. So you should really be careful what you say. It can affect how someone feels. Days and weeks and months went by, and orange could not be found. All the colors looked everywhere, but she was nowhere around. 
But then yellow had an idea to get orange back into the skies. If our words made her leave, then we can use them to apologize. So the wind carried their message and it made it to Orange's ears. She began to feel much better and it dried up all her tears. When you are wrong, say you are sorry, then work to rebuild the trust. Because if the colors aren't working together, the entire rainbow will turn to dust. It took some time and patience, but with help, Orange was a happy little girl. She realized her worth was more than her rhyme. She helped color this beautiful world. So no matter what color you are, or how different you may be, you are special, you are awesome, and you fill this world with beauty. The End